Hi, very warm welcome to you and good afternoon. It's Jim from Mavstar. You know, I wanted to talk about entropy, uh, even more so thermodynamic em entropy, and I'll explain uh, what all this is about. It sounds very complex and scientific, but really it's not. The understanding of en entropy can be easily described by, if you look in the centre of the screen, you'll see the arrow going across, and you can see that when you increase entropy, you increase disorder. And this is exactly what's happening. I was listening to a YouTube channel earlier on this morning um, talking about what the plans are to lock the carbon up on the earth and just pl pretty much cut down forests, you know, deforestation, but take that wood, pickle it in a saline solution or a salted solution, and then just bury it underground or keep it in o on overground storages. And the guy was quite right. You know, can you imagine, first of all, those petrol chainsaws that have got to cut the trees, then it's got to be put on trucks, then it's got to be taken to the, uh, you know, the solution plant where the saline water is, and that's got to be treated so that you can get the saline in the first place. What you're going to do off the rush off water from that and the byproducts, and then you're going to end up with a big pile of wood just sitting there forever. <laughs> it sounds crazy. And this is why I don't think that these people managing climate change right now are scientists at all let's face it we've seen uh, the european union's thousand list and we saw and i'm not kidding you on that list one of the names of the scientists was mickey mouse yep and i don't think they are scientists because if they were scientists they knew they would know right now thermodynamic entropy and what it means basically the more you do to in the more you do to a system you just create more entropy and in turn you make more disorder that's exactly what's going on in this world today and the disorder is increasing at an alarming rate you know i've been here for 11 years and for five years not only have we been recording the data on the um, closely related topics that we do uh, the magnetic reversal we've expanded to co2 monitoring oxygen uh, monitoring both atmospheric co2 and atmospheric oxygen and um, radiation muon radiation and also we've got magnetometers in a few different places around the world and my dream was to increase the places um, but what we've seen is a few of them fall off and you know we do get some data from some of them now and then but the enthusiasm's dropped i suppose because you know, after all, you know, the magnetic reversal is a slow moving process, but it is slow and constantly moving. And, you know, we are going into a magnetic reversal right at this very moment. The pole is holed up for some reason. For the first time in 123 years, it hasn't moved. Oh, sorry, it, it, the second time. It happened earlier on in February. We're in a year where it's happened twice. And that's for a reason we don't understand yet. But we're learning by following the uh, recorded data that we collect. And, you know, I did say five years ago that this does have knock-on effects on other industries around the world. And when I showed you the Baltic Dry Index stagnating, there it is. You know, that is uh, since the 1990s, I think, 2005, sorry. The Baltic Index has um, created like a very similar ECG pattern and this is an indication of something out of control if we was looking at an ECG reading of your heart and it was starting to show this arrhythmic behavior now um, of you know disorder let's say uh, you would probably be on the floor having cardiac arrest right now that's what's happening to the global economy in short and through studying uh, these things that we have over the last 11 years we're able to pick up on what's going on and report it back to you. Um, you know, entropy is always something that I like because it is it can be applied to anything in life. And it really does explain, you know, that if you've got a bad situation, uh, as soon as you try to address a bad situation, you are adding increasing energy into it, but you're also increasing the disorder in that system. And that can be applied to every aspect of your life because thermodynamics is everywhere. Uh, that's, you know, a little brief introduction to entropy for you guys. Um, but 
in the case of what they're trying to do with CO2, this trace gas in the atmosphere, uh, which is not largely responsible by human beings for being put in there because any scientist, any reasonable scientist and most undergraduate scientists would spot straight away that what they're accusing CO2 of is impossible. Nevertheless, they keep saying it's CO2, it's CO2 and putting pressure on other scientists to say you'll follow suit otherwise you won't get your grant, you'll follow suit or you'll lose your pension, you'll follow suit or you'll lose your job. That's what's happening right now and because they've got the money and the power they can exercise in whatever way they want and right now you know there is little will, very little will out there by a majority of people to want to do something about it and it's a shame because you know this is starting to affect them. I brought to your attention the other day of Birmingham City Council going bankrupt. Now, if you think what's happening in the UK throughout all the major cities, we've got this clean air program going on. Uh, so basically, if your car is not um, uh, low on the pollutants of CO2 and other gases, you're gonna have to be charged just to enter these cities. Which means for a lot of poor families who can't afford an electric Tesla or another electric vehicle or low emission car they're going to have to avoid going into the cities you know they might have enjoyed going into the cities but now you know it's probably too much for them because not only have they got to try and find somewhere to park and we know that cities are anti-car now because you've got bus lanes you put a couple of wheels in that bus lanes and you're going to get a fine through the post you go into uh, those low emission zones you're going to get fined if you don't pay the fee that they require it's just getting out of control and this is why I've been saying for the last two years you know look at what's happening you know they have crippled the shops in the cities with rates taxes and pedestrianisation and you know charging people extortionate amounts of money to park the car there for a short period of time um, this is what I've been saying to you guys it's it's happened already and uh, a lot of people just haven't you know woke up to what's really going on and if a city the second city biggest city in Europe Birmingham in the UK has gone bankrupt and declared bankruptcy this is going to set presidents all around the world you're going to start to see this happening but what Birmingham City Council is going to have to do now is get a crash team in there to try and raise revenues which means things are going to get even dearer at a time where you know they should be getting cheaper but who's responsible well you can point your finger directly at the united nations and the european union because they're the ones that seem to be pulling the puppet strings on all our governments around the world now they're the ones that are demanding 500 billion be raised so that they can put that money into co2 co2 lies and again, the more attention that is given to something, the more chaos that will come out of it. It's entropy, again. You know, if they were scientists, they would spot this instantly, but they are not scientists, because if they was, they would know that by trying to capture wood and bury it, it's just the most incredible waste of resource on this planet. You know, you have to realize that nature is the almighty power it is an infamous uh, machine and we are very much foolish if we think we can regulate nature on this planet because we can't and I know some people are going to say we can, we can look it's accepted weather modification but that is in a small area you try and modify the area globally just can't be done it is impossible because when you tip the balance on one thing, you also tip the balance on another. And the reason why climate has never been able to be predicted is because there is that many variables. That's why in the, at the moment, sorry about the fan in the background that you can hear, but it's, we've had like temperatures ranging from 25 to 30 degrees all week, and it's so stuffy. Um, I, we, don't, we don't have air conditioning in this country because we don't usually get warm weather. But when we get it, we get like fried out of it. And it's not because of, oh, that's an example of global warming gene. No, we're in the summer still. 
and this is what you expect sometimes in the summer nothing else to it but i will say even though we're in the summer just you know if you're in the uk or europe and there are clouds up in the sky have a look what type of clouds they are because they're serious clouds every single day you'll get in days like what we're having here now at, at the evening time sun dogs even side the sun and this is not particular weather for this latitude where our country is not at 50 degrees this is arctic um, anomalies we should only be seeing these in the arctic so those serious clouds that you see are ice crystals high up in the atmosphere and those sun dogs are caused by those ice crystals so this is a new anomaly that people haven't even seen because people don't look up anymore because they're always looking down at the mobile phones you know they forget that you know we had skies where sun dogs wasn't common or even noticed at this 50 to 52 degrees latitude now that we're seeing them all the time or pretty much any day where we get a clear sky and the sun's shining and those serious clouds are there which they're there more now than they, they never used to be and that is because the polar jet streams are broken because of the extra cosmic rays inbound because of the weakened um magnetosphere and the weakened solar um, a heliosphere because of the low output of the sun the grand solar minimum you know where are your real scientists why aren't they talking about these things to you guys why aren't they telling you the truth it's because of 500 billion pounds needs to be raised by all the rug rats of the world me and you you know the, the rats that run on the wheel constantly that's why they're not interested in trying to resolve an issue with the climate because they already know the answers. The moment they try and act, the moment they create more disorder, a scientific proven fact. And what we need to use is another thing, you know, another well-known um, saying and, and uh, scientific uh, explanation for things. And that's called Occam's Razor that which tends to be the simplest tends to be the most accurate and I'm telling you the reason why they're raising 500 billion pounds is so they can wax their asses richer whilst driving us into the poor poverty road that's why they know they can't fix CO2 in the atmosphere because the majority of it is, is expelled by the oceans and land we make up nearly 1% of the total input into the atmosphere if that why are they doing it it's because they just want the money just they just want 500 billion pounds and the uk is going to dedicate 100 billion of that itself at the same time cities like birmingham the second biggest in europe city is going bankrupt oh, what we're talking about is mismanagement that's when we look at the Baltic Dry Index, we see mismanagement from 2005. That's why we've got cardiac arrhythmias going on from then on to this present day. It's because they've mismanaged the money that they've handled uh, on behalf of the general public. This is the biggest public mistrust in history which is taking place, which nobody is doing anything about. Because individually we feel we haven't got the power to do anything about it. But collectively... We form one of the most formidable machines known. These are just less than 1%. We make up the 99%. And something needs to be through into the works right now. Bigger than a spanner. We need to stop this going on. Because this is ridiculous. Look, the reason why we've got no reporters anymore is because they sacked them all. Because otherwise, if there was decent reporters out there, they would be saying, you know, this is a load of lies. You know, is is an example of this is a lie. Is another example of this is a lie. But those people have gone already, and now they're picking on the people that the reporters would have went to for the source of information. That's why they will never put someone like me on TV, because the directors of them shows or news agencies would say this is against our policies. Simple as that. So, you know. You get to hear me on YouTube. Uh, but, you know, the main thing is, guys, you know, is we need to do something about raising funds critically because I don't know what's going on. I don't know if everyone's gone bankrupt. But, you know, we'll be going there very soon if we don't start raising money. I, I You know what? I don't charge for my service. 
Yeah, I could easily do that. We have one of the only pieces of equipment in this world here at this observatory, the TRIMAC system. Nobody else has one of them. The European Space Agency doesn't have it, NASA doesn't have it, and NOAA doesn't have it. That could be a reason why they don't like me, and they're going out their way to you know, make things very difficult instead of supporting me, because there is over 10 years' worth of research here. Why haven't we got support from these government officials? Because all the three topics that we talk about on this channel are climate influencers. The one topic that they talk about, CO2, is not a climate inf influencer. It is just a method to raise money. And in meantime, they will increase the entropy and also increase the disorder. You know, guys, I don't want to take up most of your weekend talking about this. I wanted to explain something very simple in terms of science, and that's entropy. And that is why they cannot win this game. Because the more they try to, the more they will increase the chaos. And that is a scientific law and a fact. Guys, there's a link down there. You know, we are in critical red now, and we need to do something about that. Otherwise, we're just going to be another one of them shops on your high street that used to be there, used to be useful, used to be handy, was, you know, a good source, no longer is. It doesn't require many of you to do this. You know, we have 2,000 odd people. That is more than enough. Watch each video. If that was the only subscriber we had, that would be enough people to do something about stopping this going offline. And we're a few days away from... Uh, you know, uh, about eight days away from doing the next magnetic pole positioning. You know, there's a lot of work gone into what we've got, and we should try and hold on to it. And we need to start raising some funds for this observatory right now. I know for a lot of you, it's going to take a bit of time to fill out that form, you know, to make a PayPal donation or, you know, whatever you've got to do to become one of our patrons. But, you know, if you're not going to, it's just going to be another shop on the high street that used to be there. That's it. Guys, enjoy your weekend. Take care of your loved ones, as always. Bye for now.